Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design elevated reinforced concrete slabs in RAM concept. We're at the point in our workflow where we've already performed the calculation and reviewed the analysis results. And we're taking a look at our reinforcement detailing. Now upon performing the calculation, I did get a couple of warnings that the program bar spacing was too tight. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. In my layers menu bar area, I'm going to select reinforcement and let's go to the individual bottom bars plan. Now here, if you select any warning within RAM concept, it'll go ahead and highlight it on the screen. Now what I'm seeing so far is that the program reinforcement spacing, specifically for the bottom bars in the upper slab area, might be a little tight. And to alleviate this warning, what I can do is attempt to create some distributed user bars in these areas and see if that gets me away from that situation. Now I have a couple of tools available to me in order to create distributed bars. But before I do that, let's go to the layers menu bar area and I like to do my modeling on the bottom bars plan. Now in the layer specific toolbar, we're gonna to see a couple of different tools that I can use for distributed reinforcement. And it depends upon my modeling preference or what makes sense for my geometry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool. This is my distributed reinforcement cross in perimeter, okay? I'm gonna double click on this tool and specify the reinforcement I'm interested in. I'm gonna enter the elevation reference as the bottom cover with an elevation of one inch. That would be one inch from the soffit of the slab. I'm gonna go with an ending at end one and two for my typical distributed bars will be straight bars and my slab face will be at the bottom. The bar type I'm gonna go with is number five bars at 12 inches on center. And again, these are user bars. Once I specify all my properties, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then I'm gonna create a cross within my perimeter. Now each of these distributed reinforcement tools will ask you to click in different areas. Uh, and we typically give the description of how that works in both the visual on the icon and also with your cursor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create this distributed bars in the upper slab area. I'm gonna click anywhere within the slab, and you could see I can specify any orientation that I want. I am gonna go with an orthogonal or orientation, and with this snap orthogonal tool, it'll go ahead and snap to either the global X or global Y axis. So what I can do is I can go ahead and create a reinforcement area. Now what the program has done is it's gone ahead and detected the entire slab perimeter, but I specifically put this cross in this upper slab area. Now it's important to note when I perform a new calculation, it's only going to add reinforcement in this upper area. And the reason for that is because the cover requirements that I entered are not appropriate for the lower level. Now, if I did want reinforcement in the lower level, I can create another cross over here. At this point, since most of the warnings were in the upper level of the slab anyway, I am going to perform a, another calculation and I'm gonna specifically check to see if those warnings went away. And I'm going to specifically check to see if any new program reinforcement was added in the areas that I specified the distributed reinforcement. So now after the new calculation has been performed, we're gonna see whether or not program reinforcement bars were added, even though we created some distributed bars. We're also gonna take a look to see if our warnings have gone away 
or not. Looks like I'm still getting some reinforcement issues in the top of the slab, so I may continue to massage this information. In addition to that, if I did want to review my individual bottom bars plan again, I can go ahead and take a look at that. And then again, everything in orange would be my user-defined bars and supplemental reinforcement as program reinforcement bars were added during the calculations where that was insufficient. At this point, this concludes our process for designing elevated reinforced concrete slabs and creating distributed user reinforcement in a slab system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.